Welcome. Today we have Mark Drury, Vice President of Business Development at Shapiro and Duncan. Mark's going to share some really cool stories of how Shapiro and Duncan is using technology in the construction process. Mark, welcome. Thank you. Good to talk to you. It's definitely our pleasure. So, Mark, let's start with a little bit about who is Shapiro and Duncan. Can you give us a little bit of an overview? Oh, absolutely. Shapiro and Duncan is a a uh, third generation family owned uh, commercial mechanical contractor. We're a design build mechanical. Uh, we were incorporated in 1976. We operate in the Washington D.C. metropolitan area, uh, and we do a, a very we have a diverse portfolio of projects. We work on uh, healthcare, we're in transportation, we're doing data centers, uh, K-12, higher education, office buildings, hospitality, uh, Department of Defense, intelligence community. Um, so pr pretty much cover the gamut in terms of, of vertical construction. Very cool. All right, so let's let's jump into the lots of technology choices you have. So let's start with estimation software. Kind of what what technologies are you doing to help you with your estimation? Uh, well, with estimation, you start with loading up projects and and doing the early entry. When we decide we're gonna we're gonna bid a project, uh, we put it in our our Cosential pro program, which is our CRM, uh, and capture capture some data right up front in terms of owner, architect, engineer. Uh, type of project, et cetera. And that gets pushed into Procore, which is our project management software. And in estimating, they're using it as a, as a bid tracking software. So it's a cloud-based software and, and the drawings are uploaded in the cloud. And then the invitations all go out to Procore, to all the subcontractors and, and vendors we use. Uh, and it even can receive bids. Um, from the estimating standpoint, we use a, a, a program called QuoteSoft, which is a, a digital uh, quantity takeoff tool. It's paperless. Our estimating department looks like a sports bar. Everybody's got multiple large screens and they've got the drawings up there and with their, with their mouse, they're clicking from end to end and that's giving them quantity takeoff and it automatically through the formulas in the database puts in hangers and valves and joints and uh, all the parts and pieces it's gonna take to do it. So that's where we come up with our quantity takeoffs on materials for piping and ductwork, et cetera. And we also take off all the equipment, the units, et cetera. And then all that information is fed into our, the same Excel spreadsheet system we've been using for probably 15 years now, but it's sort of our just custom system, but all the digital is, is uploaded into it and we come up with proposals that way. So it's, it's very efficient, it's very effective and it's very accurate. And uh, we've reduced our paper footprint tremendously. Yeah, you've been doing this for a long time now. When, when did you start um, using this, this process? Uh, the estimation process, um, I think we went to digital screens probably 12, 15 years ago, maybe. Yeah, I would say probably 2005, 2004, somewhere in there. And, 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 and we've developed over, over time. We've, we've gone through a couple iterations of, of software to find the right fit. But, you know, it's, it's, it's productive and it works. And then um, now, how does it feed into your kind of building information models? The estimate goes from estimating, then it gets pushed in. If it, if it becomes a project, it gets pushed into Procore, which is our project management software. And then it gets entered into uh, Sage Timberline, which is our accounting software, uh, and it becomes a job. Then it feeds back into Cosential, which is our CRM software, which captures everything that's going to happen on the job as it goes along, who worked on it, you know, who the subcontractors are, all that information feeds back in. So for marketing and for tracking on a business development side, it gives us you know, our client information, what jobs we've done with them, what jobs they were, how big they were, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a pretty robust combination of softwares. When we get a job, the drawings, the digital drawings are sent over to our virtual design and construction team. and uh, they will start to model it and um, modeling takes off from two different platforms. Uh, sometimes in renovations, uh, we will go out with our, uh, our digital scanner and scan the building uh, room by room. And with that, we capture a point cloud and that becomes the beginning of our, our model. 
when we have uh, drawings and uh, uh, accurate backgrounds we can get from the architect and the engineer, uh, that would be the start of our model. Their points would be the start. So we go through and we, we model it, we coordinate uh, all the trades within our, within our sphere, uh, which is the MEP side. Um, so we coordinate with the electrical, uh, we coordinate with the sprinkler, uh, all within the structure. And uh, for information, we put in, you know, all the information, the pipe size, of course, all that stuff, the dimensions, the location, the elevation, all that is captured, uh, as well as equipment types, uh, submittals are entered in. So exact models, uh, maintenance data is put in, uh, operation data is put in. Every, everything we can is put into the model from, from our standpoint. So uh, the model becomes, becomes a working tool for our foreman and our superintendents in the field uh, as they direct our crews. Then that model, once everything's coordinated and detailed, the model is broken into what are known as spool drawings. Uh, spool drawings are our manufacturing drawings. So we will take take the model and 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 a spool is is a it's a it's a unique assembly that is the culmination of coordination between what the existing conditions are, what the conditions when it has to be installed are, and we try to manufacture our assemblies in in our factory in as large a size as we can and still be able to handle it, transport it, and install it effectively. So there's a lot of coordination between the foreman, you know, between our logistics people, the drive, uh, because we do, we also do some modular skids and big prefabricated assemblies. And we have to make sure that we're not going to, you know, hit the, the hit the overpasses as we as we go down the highway, and so all that has to be worked out. But once that's done, those digital spool drawings are sent out as work work orders onto our fab shop floor, and uh, the fab shop floor is, is paperless. Uh, we, we use a system called Fab Pro, which tracks the work orders <clears throat> as they go through our assembly line. So raw material, pipe, etc is all checked in valves etc uh, they're all bundled with each spool and uh, the material will go down the assembly line the pipe will be cut the pipe will be beveled uh, holes will be cut in it inlets will be cut then the parts and pieces will move down they'll be welded together uh, soldered joined in whatever fashion that we decide some some mechanical joints we use press fittings sometimes the pipes grooved depending on the application uh, and as it works down the assembly line from each station, uh, there's a, a large screen which shows the drawing and there's a, uh, a tablet where the operator at that station will start and stop their performance on each task uh, and their time is tracked and, and their productivity is tracked and then it's also displayed in the hallway in the fab shop and everybody can see who did what and how many, who had the most weld inches today and, and who got the most solder joints in today and who cut the most pipe today. So it, it's, it, it becomes competitive, but it, it also tracks the work orders as they're going through the assembly line. And, and the end result is uh, our logistics team has it on a schedule. So we're ready for loading and shipping and trucking so that we can make just-in-time deliveries to our job sites. So that's kind of where that works. Um, and, the, and the next part of the model is, is in the field uh, when we're doing layout, whether it's laying out underground piping uh, for storm drains and, 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 and waste, plumbing waste lines. Uh, we use a, a, a Sokia tool, which is a, a digital surveying tool and the the BIM model is uploaded into the tool and basically it sends you out and you find the point and you put your marker on the point and you have exact locations for sleeves, for embeds, for uh, anchors, for where you're putting blocking, for underground pipe, for where your bends are, for where your, uh, where your risers are coming up, et cetera. 
to where your inverts are. All that's done digitally now. And, and the interesting thing is that these, these pieces of equipment now are accurate up to like thousandths of an inch. Uh, so we're no longer doing hand, hand cutting and, and hand calculations and laying out with a tape measure. Before the surveying tool, two men in a set of blueprints with some markers and a chalk box could usually get maybe 40 points laid out on a deck in a day. And with the digital tool, I mean, our, our, our VDC guys say, well, if they're not making 400, then they must be slacking off. So uh, going from 40 to 400 is a huge leap in terms of productivity. Uh, and it helps move the job along, just like all the other processes do. Uh, they make the job move faster, safer, uh, higher quality, and, and a lot more effective. 